So the very first sign was like a year ago, March. It was grateful, not dead. And then I made love me from afar. This is the second version because somebody loved the first one so much they stole it. And then I'm not really exactly sure where we went from there. These are later pieces. So let's go over to, we were concerned about the squirrels in the neighborhood because we saw them running back and forth and we thought maybe they would need an intervention, you know? We didn't want anybody to get run over here. So I made a squirrel jaywalking intervention center. And there are many coyotes actually living in the neighborhood. And, um, you know, most of us haven't been to the dentist in a long time. And I was really concerned about the dental health of coyotes. Um, maybe it should have said coyote free dental clinic. Uh, but, uh, and of course, we were all improvising with reality. Every day was improvisation with reality. Uh, these are uh, uh, palm husks. I started just collecting the palm husks off the street and painting them and hanging them up. Uh, Apollo Soleri wind chime. Uh, one of my greatest heroes in life, of course, was the Reverend Gary Davis. Um, I don't know if the likeness is really that good, but I did what I could. And let us get together right down here, which we're doing today, folks. And uh, this, is probably, this is the last sign. This is the most recent one uh, in which it's pretty self-explanatory, right, with what's going on. Uh, John Lennon's birthday, I painted Imagine. Um, and uh, right before the election, I painted the Pete Seeger. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long because I knew it had to be over. As Ornette Coleman once told me, be as human as possible. Be as human as possible. And you can see, if you get a close up there, there's all kinds of stuff coming out of his horns from wrenches, and keys, and I don't know, all kinds of things. Uh, uh, a piece of a jigsaw puzzle and whatever I could find. And um, with the Dylan one, uh, this was a, 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 a pie tin, actually a cookie tin uh, that I cut out. And so I started to make it multimedia. And there's Big Pink, the lovely Big Pink, little Big Pink. And, um, uh, this one was one of the first ones also. I think this was, yeah, this was maybe the second or third one. I am optimistic because, you know, you just can't give up. And we we're trying to spread some positive energy in the neighborhood. Uh, this is a title to a Master Musicians of Jejuka piece. Your eyes are a cup of tea. Love you. And... Of course, you have to thank the frontline workers. This was one of the earliest ones, too. Don't hug me, hug a tree. And then um, uh, Halloween was coming. So I did a whole, a whole bunch of Halloween signs. Uh, you know, werewolves are known to mumble quite a bit. You know, they kind of spit and sputter. And I thought maybe they needed a little help with their speech. So we decided to give free lessons to the werewolves and uh, did you call your mummy today that was another sign for the uh, 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 Christmas of course and um, I was doing a bunch of these signs inspired by my friend Elise Margolis who actually came up with the design and those were the other ones that got stolen we had a few flags stolen so I have to thank the people for stealing the flags because I was really that was nice and I'm a big Corvid fan, you know, crows, ravens, Corvid, not COVID. All you need is glove, love, and a mask. So, oh, and of course, um, one of the things that we were doing with them, um, the uh, ancestors was fight tragic with magic. But, you know, I just thought I needed to fight it with music. So we're going to do that today a little bit. We're going to... We're going to heal up a little bit. Of course, The Doors and William Blake. Um, and uh, 
uh, a little bit of blues poetry. And, you know, James Blood, he asked that question. Are you glad to be in America? And, uh, well, you know, rattlesnakes, they sometimes get indigestion, and we thought it would be really nice to do a little gastroenterology. The walk-ins welcome if they can find their feet. Leonard Cohen, of course, there's a crack in everything. And, uh, boy, it just seemed like forever, right? Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Keep your chin up or your mask is going to fall down. And actually there was a guy running for some kind of city council thing in Pasadena named Donovan. There were Vote Donovan signs everywhere, so I thought, hey, Vote Donovan, man. Vote Donovan for Hurdy Gurdy, man. I voted for Donovan, man. Vote Donovan. And of course, our, our pal Mike Pence, I couldn't help myself when the, uh, the fly landed on his head. And uh, so people ask, you know, uh, in what furnace was thy brain? Uh, of course, we're talking about um, William Blake here, Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright. Bright moments right now. Tarantula dancing school, a little bit more for Halloween. Okay, you know, I'm, I think bobcats every once in a while could use a manicure, don't you? So we thought, you know, and... You know, I love Brian, and I was really understanding this line more than ever. You know, I just wasn't mean for these times. And uh, Dylan Thomas, so I got into the quote thing for a while. Bob Dylan, masket or casket, man. And, uh, you know, aliens for peace. And here's the, here's, People ask, well, how do the neighbors feel about the signs, you know? How do the neighbors take it? And for the most part, the neighbors really seem to enjoy it. I even sold a couple of signs. And, um, but, you know, I sort of did this in a tribute to John and Yoko. And uh, the next morning, um, uh, it was redecorated. And now I feel like it's a, a talisman. It's a piece of history now. Even monsters need health care. Dracula sucks, and so does COVID. And so, this is pretty much what we do. And there was a sign up around town uh, that said, we inspire excellence. We inspire excellence for the students, you know? And uh, so we thought, well, we inspire surrealism. Um, uh, for our good pal, Michael McClure, who danced off, we all dance on borrowed feet was one of his lines. Hey, hey I'll be with you in a second. I'm just finishing up our tour. And here's another little masky for Halloween. And well, ravens are always welcome. And then over there you have a you have the moon moonrise face. You can see there's the moonrise. And do you have a moon? Do you have a moonrise mouth, or do you have a sundown mouth? Is your is your mouth sundown, or is your mouth moonrise? That's what I want to know. So, I haven't kept it up, but here's part of our little shrine that we built a while ago when friends started to pass. Uh, Hal Wilner, John Prine, Wallace, Wallace Roney, um, and uh, Bucky Pizzarelli, and Paul Kopaz and Lee Connets and some other friends of ours. And uh, we could end back here with uh... Mask. Mask or ye shall receive. And uh, 
That was the COVID monster, the original COVID monster. He's pretty worn out now. His eyes are falling off and, and uh, he's really showing a little wear and tear. But that was our COVID monster. And uh, Sir Paul, Sir Paul, whose birthday was yesterday. Thank you, Sir Paul, for everything. And uh, behind that is Joel Dorns. Take some bitter with the butter. Take the bitter with some butter. And the Grateful Dead asking, oh, I want to know. So you kind. So that's how I kept myself busy in during COVID times, among other things, writing and recording some music. And uh, But that's how I interacted with the neighbors, really. This was the way of, of having a, some kind of conversation and it, with, you know, the distance. Don't mix them up. You're just on oral. You're lucky. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So shall we uh, try to... Um, people are... People are... Like, oh, that's always good.